Hi guys, welcome to another video from Rich Co Photo. Again, I keep getting asked to do driving videos, so guess what? Here's another driving video. <laughs> Okay, join me. Day's really nice. It's uh, 12 degrees, sun's out, so it's a good day to put a driving video together. Hopefully the sun won't be too much in your eyes as we drive along. And I hope you enjoy the video. Just one of the local petrol stations there. I'm just leaving uh, Locks Heath Centre, which is one of the local shopping centres. Um, and what I'm going to do is run down towards Locks Heath, or through Locks Heath, out of Locks Heath, and then down towards Wars Ash, as it says on that sign right there. Now, I don't think, or I can't remember that I've taken you this way before. So hopefully it will be a new experience. I'm gonna go through these traffic lights here, a bit of roadworks, um, and hopefully not kill the person on the motor scooter. So like I said, I'm gonna head down here and I'll pick up Wars Ash uh, right at the end of this road and hopefully when I turn right, it will take the sun away because I'm guessing the sun is shining right in that lens of the GoPro, which is outside of the um, car and on a GoPro mount. Now I'm shooting at 24 frames a second on 1080p. I don't tend to use 4K too much when I'm doing, doing uh, shooting driving videos because they just tend to, I know it's more pixelated I've found. Uh, I think 1080p on YouTube is good enough to get an experience. If I want it more color and everything then, um, and more clear, sharp pictures, then I'll be able to do that. But anyway, that's enough talking about that. I'm on my H1 Zoom with my lapel mic today rather than having it stuck in because I did have a couple of issues with the audio on the last uh, video that I did that I had to edit through Premiere Pro just to make it sound a bit better because I think it was vibrating. I had the zoom stuck in the windshield sun visor, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, shut up about that. I hear you say, and let's get on with the video. It's one of the local Tesco Expresses there. It's only a tiny little shop, but it does loads of business. So as you can see, we're getting more and more leaves on the trees now. As the spring starts to come along. Now we're just right on the outskirts of Locks Heath now and then heading down towards Wars Ash. I'm not quite 100% sure where Wars Ash actually starts. <laughs> As you see, there's lots of daffies out along the edge there. Um, so we're starting to get that colour come through now, which is always good. I hate the winter. I wish it was just warm all the time. But then I guess nothing would grow and so on and so forth, but I do like the sunshine. So like I said, I'm not 100% sure where it actually locks Heath ends and Wars Ash begins. But I would say probably around this corner, we sort of go into that area. See, this is a 30 mile an hour road, and this road runs right along the edge of the coast. It's probably about half a mile to our left. Um, and I'm going to take you down by the water and, and just show you where Wars Ash Harbour is. Vision Gate is still building going on. Even with Britex happening, it seems like the building industry has picked up a lot in the last sort of 12 months in the UK there's lots of new builds being done uh, and a lot going up especially around where I live it always seems to be a growing area as you can see these houses have been here for quite a while um, again I would probably say try and see if there's any you know like buildings have the brick built into them it tells you how old they are but some of them are really old some of them are not you know I'm guessing that church is really old <laughs> But I should imagine most of these houses on the right, but those ones on the left are really modern and new, probably about eight years old, those ones. But these ones on the right are even older, probably, I would say, 1900s. There is a plaque on that one, 1929. And then the 
So we're coming into Wars Ash now. It's one of the local buses that goes all the way down into Gosport. Looking at that. And uh, Peter Nash cars on the right side. You get some lovely vehicles in there. If you're ever down this way, just drop in and have a quick look. So that's the clock tower there. Again, I really don't know loads about it. But it's got the old uh, tackle on where they used to pull up bowels of hay or flour and stuff like that. And as you can see, there's always a tight little road. And again, there's a mixture of houses down here. You have some old ones and some modern ones. Some old cottages there on the right. Again, I would say they probably predate 1900, those ones. And then some more modern ones on the left. And then again into the old. So as you can see, as we bear around to the right, you will see lots of masts of the boats. But I will take you down there. So this is called Passenger Lane down here. And just, I don't know if I can drive up there actually, I might do in a minute. Um, this is an area where Howard's Way was filmed. There was a big soap that was on TV for many years. And this is all the area it was. And when I was a kid, we used to come down here, when I say kid, 14, 13, 14, um, we used to come down here and watch them filming it, which was always really interesting. Went into the local pub, into the rising sun up here. Um, especially over the other side of Hamble, and I'm going to take you down there one day as well. So what I'll do is I'll drive in the car park here, um, and used to just have drinks and talk to the actors and everything. I think they really liked the egos being stroked, so it was always fun to do that. And the tide is fully in today, that's pretty impressive. So this is the harbour, main harbour office, um, and I have flown my drone down here a couple of times. You may remember some of the videos. And there's Wars Ash Sailing Club directly in front of us. And the rising sun. It looks like they've got Brixham here. They just, if I turn right a bit, you'll see they've got the fish market. So some of these guys just putting all the fish into the trucks that have come in today. And I'm going to go past some of these cottages here, these little fishing cottages. I wonder if these have got any dates on. I doubt it. But they're probably 1800s, those are. <laughs> the old fishing cottages, I guess it used to be a big fishing port at some point. And still is, to a point. They still bring lots of fish in there. A very modern house there. It's been extending that house for a while now. So they get a lot of fish, like I said, in there. And then I think they either sell them at that point. I've seen people exchanging cash. And it's got lots of ice boxes and stuff that they use. It's always, it's always a bit tight through here with cars and everything. And for my American friends that watch this, it is safe in the UK. You've just got to be really aware of everybody else. Not so bothered about myself because I know how to drive, but it's the rest of the people you've got to worry about. And a couple of American people. Uh, pointed out to me that cars actually park in the lanes in the road and as you can see on the right there they're exactly right even though these houses have enough room to park cars on it looks like they still park their cars in the road and there's something that happens everywhere in the UK so you spend most of your time trying to avoid parked cars it's not too bad up here but it can get worse in some of the areas quite bad Nice little thatched cottage there on the left hand side. So you can see some vans parked on there. And what it actually does is it pushes the traffic into my side of the road. And cars parked everywhere, <laughs> as you can see. That's not gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn left as you can see some bungalows in front of us. Bungalows become less and less in the UK now um, as people buy the bungalows, knock them down and build houses. Because bungalows tend to sit on quite a bit of land. So sometimes they knock down the bungalows and actually build two houses on it. So I'm going to take you up Barnes Lane. And 
as you can see the blossoms starting to come out of those trees now starting to look nice and here's some of the local shops on the right hand side um, mainly takeaways not so much like local butchers or anything like that they've tend to have died off and the restaurants just appear so you've got a fish and chip shop there you've got an Indian restaurant you've got a Chinese restaurant in fact you've got two Indian restaurants there um, so when the shops that used to be like convenience stores there so now they've all gone been put out of business by the bigger shopping centers and everything um, the restaurants move in and it's a good prime position for them actually because they're actually right in the middle of a housing estate Holly Hill Woodland Park's on the left hand side it's quite a nice walk um, if you get time and you visit or whatever down here go down and have a wander round we take you right down onto the Hamble River and directly ahead is the new um, sports centre that's been built. I hear mixed reviews about it. Um, some people say it's good, some people say it's not so good, I guess. It just depends what you're used to. I um, don't think the swimming pool's very big. Um, so a few moans and groans about that. But, you know, it's somewhere to go and keep yourself fit. And it's good for the community to have that. So again, a really mix of houses along this road. And you're probably getting pixelation now on both sides of the screen with the dark. So it's trying to process all that information just too much. It can't handle it on the frame rate. So the faster the frame rate, the worse the pixelation. So if you're gonna do driving videos, try and get your frame rate, rate as low as possible, then it will give the camera the time it needs to take in as much information as it can. So the lower the frame rate, the better the picture when you upload it to uh, upload it to YouTube or Facebook. YouTube seems to compress the living dilates out of things. So, so I did a live drone flight from the left here in this park out over the river. You might have seen that in the past. If not, I'll put a link up the top so you can see it. And now we're gonna leaving the Wars Ash Arrow actually in a place called Swanick now. And just down here on the left hand side is where the police sit and get people speeding down this hill because believe it or not the speed limit on this hill is 30 miles an hour so you do actually spend most of your time on your brakes trying to hold the car back. And this is an area that I spent quite a lot of time as a kid in spent most of my life on the river in one boat or another and obviously canoeing up and down the river so heading down into this one there's a ship in here on the left hand side that burnt down a little while ago it's all been rebuilt and all back together now do some really nice food in there it's worth a visit and the old supermarket car sales everywhere you get them that's Imperial cars. They've been around for a long time. And then you might recognize this. This is uh, where, where I've driven past many times before. There's lots of um, boats and sun seekers and everything here. And if you just turn right, you'd end up going up towards my house. So there you go. I think I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks for watching. I hope it's been an enjoyable video again, just to give you a show of the area. Um, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment below. It's always good. If there's any particular areas along the South Coast you think you would like me to film or you used to live there, just let me know and I'll have a drive around and shoot where you used to live. Not a problem. So again, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care. Hey, thanks very much for watching my video if you haven't subscribed to my channel just click on my face there and you'll subscribe to my channel so you won't miss anything also just click on one of these videos around me you might find something you like so thanks again you have a great day take care of yourself